Well, what's up guys? Hi, I guess it's me, it's your girl, but it's me reacting. I'm back with another video. Uh oh. My phone lights up, but it's never you. I can't help but feel so lonely. And all these things that I can't undo. I'm falling apart so slowly. So guys, we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1, Episode 2. Ooh, I'm just so excited. I'm really, really excited. The first episode, you know, kicked off with the 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 oh, what is this? The iconic siblings, Sokka and Katara, arguing as per usual, like siblings do, you know, bickering over the smallest things. You know, finding out that guitar is actually a waterbender and you know, just the, just the history behind everything. Obviously, the intro tells the history, which I really like. And they, they basically rescued the Avatar, if we're being honest. I should say guitar did. You know, Sokka was just like, nope, stay away from him, mm -mm, stay away from whatever that is. She was like, no, we have to do it. I think like, that's the mother instinct in her, even though she's not a mom. She kind of had to become the mom after their mom died, so you can definitely see that she looked into his eyes. It didn't, it wasn't fearful, it was a place of love and kindness, so definitely love that. And they went to the village, <laughs> the little tiny village, oh my god. And they met everybody, gang gang, you know. The village children, when Sokka refers to them as warriors. <laughs> I don't know who they're supposed to be protecting because it ain't, it ain't much, but it's thought that counts and then we met, we met Prince Zuko and Uncle Iris and you know, being them, disagreeing on everything and just Zuko being the hothead he is, no pun intended, but being the hothead he is, he just wants to get out of there, wants to get his honor back, does not care about anything else, anyone else. He just wants to do what he has to do to get back home and he doesn't get who he hurts in the process. So he saw the light, that was the first sign, and then the, the whole like signal, signaling of the fire ship, which was like, oh! And he, him thinking that the avatar is 112 years old, so he's pretty agile for an old guy. That. Yeah. So, um, yeah. Obviously, this is a continuation of episode one, and we're gonna see where this leads off for, for us. And I'm just like, oh, super nervous because, yeah, Zuko wasn't the friendliest guy in the bunch. So, we're definitely gonna have to see that. And, yeah, guys, before we begin, I just wanna say if you've not yet hit that subscribe button if you're new to the channel it's right there nice and pretty our goal is 10k this year so yeah and also if you've not yet checked out my other channels they're also linked below if you want to see more of me in a different setting so yeah guys without further ado let's just get on with the video it's for kids because kids never know what's going on though Thanks, a little heartbreaker. <laughs> Why did the dog decide to bark right when I'm recording? Love that for me. <laughs> but I got him. 
Wow. No warrior ready. Whew. Even Brazuka was getting warrior. I like how the perspective, like Sokka putting on his own gear while Prince Zuko has other people do for him. The parallels. And the fire. Ooh, okay. I think Zuko is older than him though. I think by a year. It's a big lover. Probably not the best idea. <laughs> I'm going to just pose him. Oh, crushy boomerang though. Dang. Dang. Heko just melted off of him. That's how hot he is. Yes, we. <laughs> True. My man. <laughs> I'm gonna save your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. Aww. I just realized that this cup is also blue. Blue is greenish. That's our boss, that's it. Yep. Wow! <laughs> wow. Wow. He's so like non confrontational. Like, he's just like, I'll just move around you instead of going through you type of person. <laughs> wow. Sorry. <laughs> Found it? Nice. Looks like I underestimated. Who me? Dang. How is it getting hot in here? Wow. They freedom. Ah, I love when they play this music. It's so good. <gasps> Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Show him who's boss. Show him who's boss. Yep. I love how in the Avatar state he can he can control any element he wants, regardless if he knows the technique or not. I know, huh?
Yes, that's the girl. Yes. Magic. Oh wow, okay. Let's. So guys, that was my reaction to Avatar The Last Airbender Season 1, Episode 2. But you know what I just realized? I think the next element for the Avatar is um water. Like the, like the, la the next Airbender after Aang was water because, yeah, Korra. Yeah, in the, in the Legend of Korra, she was a, she was from the Water Tribe. I think there was speculation that um, there's a lot of conspiracy theories surrounding the um, Avatar, just because it's such a huge franchise. But um, people were saying that Katara, if Aang, you know, did his like, if he died when he was supposed to, Katara was supposed to be the it was supposed to be the Avatar, which is like I I just realized that I think people speculated that. Wow. Imagine if she was the Avatar. That would have been very interesting. Very interesting indeed. Whoa. Then they would have been a real deep, deep poop then. Because not only would she, she would have been a waterbender, she would have been the Avatar too. Wow. But you know what? In life, things happen for a reason and people think saying that means that oh there's only one straight path no whatever you choose in this life determines your quote-unquote destiny destiny isn't just something that's just paved from the minute you were born destiny is made block by block by the choices you make in life so if you decide that to use education for an example if you decide to go to college that's one way. If you decide not to go to college, that's another way. Different blocks, different avenues. If you decide to get a job instead of doing neither, you know? A different avenue, a different choice, a different path. It doesn't mean that there's one straight path. So this path has, a, has something in different in mind for Katara. And this is, instead of being the Avatar, she has to help the Avatar in a way. So that's how I look at it anyway, is that this was in this path this was meant to happen you know but yeah we have a love we have like a lot of episodes to go through and i'm just excited to jump right into all of them like i said i'm only gonna react to two just because of the length of it that's how i like to do it and it's gonna be a very long and interesting journey and one that i look forward to very 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 much i can't wait for them to you know to ride the the koi the koi fish and just do all these different things and finally go to see other water vendors it's gonna be one roller coaster you're not gonna want to miss at all guys at all so you better hit that subscribe button quick so you get notified for my videos well you have to have the bell notification i don't normally say that because i don't know i don't feel like i'm big enough to say that i just hope you guys see my videos you know i just hope for the best <laughs> but if you guys do want to do that you can hit the notification bell if you want i guess <laughs> but yeah i'm just super excited to watch this honestly yeah so hope you guys enjoy my reaction and enjoy me don't forget to give me a thumbs up and comment down below what you thought about this episode this is gonna be so good i can't wait to hear all you guys just just like thoughts and opinions down below i really want to know and yeah that's me peace